Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello this is Mavi which is not my real name for now anyway it's today is December 26 2015 it's on a sunny Saturday here in Holosuri and so this is my very first episode here on YouTube as your speaker reporter journalist whatever you want to call it um, I created this sort of blog so to inspire people around the world especially this first chapter we'll be talking about Losulu, a very interesting island where I am right now why because there are so many perception about us Dalsugs to be specific that spread all over Philippines over the past years until now not only Philippines but in other countries as well they fear us because they think we are all killers and kidnappers that is not entirely entirely true I'm going to prove those rumors wrong in case you haven't noticed um, uh, the media or the local news, whether in TV, Patrol, on ABS-CBN, GMA News, ANC, CNN, Al Jazeera, um, etc. barely reported about the issues here in Holo. If I'm not mistaken, they never talk about anything good about us. Well, whenever they report though, they always focus on the bad side, like how Abu Sayyaf behave and explaining, explaining how tragic it is. It is like a hellhole. As a result, people think that this is no place for good people. All I see in the news is about incidents happening in the well-known areas in the zone, Visayas, Mindanao, and only half of part of Mindanao like Sambanga. It's not forget the celebrities and stuff, but do you ever wonder why they don't even bother to know what's going on around here and report it to the news the reasons could be anything either they're scared to come here or they don't want to reveal the good side about us or they just don't care at all who knows it is just unfair though are we like invisible or something this is why you shouldn't rely on the news on TV all the time because it is not always accurate they say things what they only want people to hear they take videos that only benefit them. Well, you may you might ask me, is mine accurate enough to convince you that what I'm about to discuss is true? Well, it's up to you though, but just so you guys know, I speak for the truth. This is the least I can do for my people. Anyway, so much for that. Let's start off this first episode. We're gonna dig dig a little in the early history. Okay, so um, Hulo Sulu wasn't part of the Philippines actually. It was just a small island with tribes. It stood alone for, for autonomy and for its people, the Moros. By the way, Moros are not just Tausugs. There are other Moro races like Maranaos, Bajau, Sama, and other, other Moro related. Um, Hinduism was first practiced as the spiritual, you know, spiritual practice or guidance. Then later on, we embraced Islam with the help and guidance by a Muslim missionary named Mahdum Karim. Until then, the island was led by the Sultanates. How did, how did it happen, you ask? Well, if you may recall on your lessons in high school, textbooks about Philippine history or or what they call Aralin Panlipunan. Trading was very popular during that time, so a lot of traders or merchants from China, Persia, and from the Arab regions came here, and most of them were Muslims. By that majority of the native population of Hulu converted to Islam. Alhamdulillah, however, we struggled for independence by the Americans. The Americans were the first to invade the island for various reasons. Our leaders at the time surrendered to them because they made some sort of deal and got paid 
in, in exchange for the Americans to gain some benefits. This made the Moro people angry but nevertheless couldn't do anything about it. After the Americans, next came the Spaniards and demanded us to convert into Roman Catholicism. This happened after the Spaniards colonized Philippines. Take note again, Holo Sulu wasn't part of Philippines yet. Because of our warrior spirit in nature, we did not give up without a fight and so with the help of the Americans, we fought against them. It was a battle for independence, fighting for freedom and for Allah. Then again, we surrendered and for that, some of us were forced to follow the ways of these Spaniards. Um, you may read more from wikipedia.com about the Moro people history. Everything you want to know are there. Well, that's all for now. So the next episode, we'll talk about the common traits of the Tausugs, which is going to be interesting because it will be talking about the behaviors of the Tausugs. How, you know, because I've heard a lot of um, feedbacks about us that. We are war freaks. Um, what else? Where, where we are? We are tough. We are so brave, and you know, we we get so much pride, and well, and other and other things. I know you're all eager to know more about everything else. So, anyway, don't worry. Most of them will be discussed on the later episodes. So, thank you for listening, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.